Tisha, this is a super exciting week for you because your son, Zen, just got into his top <sighs> choice for college. <laughs> about this for an hour. Oh, you oh. got so emotional about it. Tell us what it was like for both of you. You know what, my son, and for those who don't know, um, he was diagnosed with autism when he was like about 23 months old. I'm trying to keep it together. So um, for, for me, the biggest thing for me was once I got the diagnosis, I wanted him to be as independent of me as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just tell you this, this story Go recently ahead. because he's, he, 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 his little brother, um, my baby, my 10 year old walks up to him and goes, then why did you choose to live with mom at 18? He was like, cause she's preparing me for my life. She's preparing me for college. Now this is a boy who couldn't talk. Okay. He was this kid. And he said, she allows me to be more of a man at her house. And he said, he said, um, sorry guys. It's okay. He has said, you know, Zeke, Zeke here, we don't have maids. We don't have somebody cleaning up after us. And I can do all of this on my own. I do everything on my own. I open the car door for mommy. I take care of things around the house and I take care of stuff. And he says, even though she has a rule, she has stuff outside of that too. And then he's, you know, you wanna be able to raise children, especially in the business that we're in, that's not entitled. Yes. Yeah. And you wanna be able to know that it's a thankless job. Motherhood is a thankless job. It doesn't yeah. matter what job you yeah. have, right? And, and it's okay, because all you really want them to do is survive, That's and survive right. in a great way without you. Right. And for him to have talked about this school since he was eight years old, wow. And for him to want to be a zoologist when he grows up. Oh my God. What That's school amazing. is it? I can't say, because yeah, I want to respect this private. privacy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. Take but, a breath, take a breath. You okay, you did a wonderful job. We're so proud of you. This is so awesome. I'm so proud of you. Feel the passion. But he said, he said, you know, I'm doing this on my own. He, did, he didn't wait for me, he didn't wait for his dad. He just, he just did it. And people were saying he wasn't gonna get into the school. And he's a, he's a straight A student. He's always on the D's list. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's great. Jeez. He's very smart, but he's really a nice person. Yeah, yeah. Like, both my kids are really nice people. Yeah. And so, for him to recognize what I'm trying to do, he was like, Mommy helps us be independent, Zeke. And then Zeke turns around to me, and he goes, Mom, you are my safe place. Oh, wow. What 10-year-old says that to somebody? That's and amazing. That speaks to how you With a good them. mother. Yeah, that that speaks to what a we good mother We are so happy are. and pretty proud of what you're doing. And we're also excited because... We gotta plug your project. I know. All right, come on, we gotta plug this project. Not that you have a big college, you got so much going on yourself. Right. That's right. So I'm on this new show called, I'm still trying to not to cry. All right. I'm on this new show called Outmatch. This is the terrible plug. I'm on this new show called Outmatch. <laughs> I'm on this new show called Outmatch with Jason Biggs and Maggie Lawson and Finesse Mitchell. <laughs> They are amazing, and let me tell you why. You know, people always go, oh, we're like a family. No, the one thing that I love about them the most is that they get it. Like, this is just a job for us guys. We are just trying to get our kids through college or just trying to help our families and help our, ourselves, but that's how they feel to me. Like, you look at somebody and you go, who's gonna nut up by the third season? <laughs> there right? you go. And, 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 that's not where we are. We have this, like Maggie has said something. She was like, remember this moment, remember the excitement. And that made me know that we don't take ourselves too seriously. We're no. here to make people laugh. Yeah. And we're just trying to heal people. Yeah. And Speaking of making people laugh though. That's it. I had heard that you and Finesse oh. be getting in trouble on the set. No, what do you finesse. guys do? What do you guys do? Finesse, man, he talk too loud. He don't know how to whisper. Are you guys <laughs> always having fun behind the scenes? We are having a blast, but he cannot whisper to save his life. We be at table he's reads. A loud talker. Oh my God, he's talking to me like this while they're doing it. I go, do talk talker. to me. Oh, well, that's it's funny. Fun. That Wait, I gotta incredible. see this in action. Let's take a look at you in Outmatched. Okay, okay. Oh, what was the name of the fat ass guy you shoved into the locker door at homecoming? Oh, 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 uh, uh, his name was Mike. <clears throat> Mike Bennett, she married him. <laughs> you know, the more we talk about all the stuff I did, it sounds more mean than fun. Was I just a bully in high school? No, no, babe. You just, you did some cruel things at the expense of other people's confidence in their white jean collection. 
wow, Mike, you found the only thing that a white guy can't get away with. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so fun. You can They're catch fun. our girl Tisha on Outmatch Thursday nights at 8.30 on Fox.